What up YouTube, it's your boy J-Max. So today's video, I wanna, I wanna show you guys an alternate uh, solution for your G37 that does not come with auxiliary. Um, I've had this car for about two months now and uh, one of the most, one of the annoying things on it is that I cannot hook up my phone to play music onto the car. Um, but lucky for you, the, these um, inexpensive, this one is, uh, Eclipse Pro. I don't know if the camera could see it if it's dark enough. Um, the part number is MP5-5000B. Um, I picked this up in a local store, Princess Auto. For the Canadians, sorry, for the Canadians. This one, I picked it up at Princess Auto. It was about uh, 15 to $20 with taxes. Um, so what it comes with is just this little, uh, I guess, I don't know receiver thingy thing and uh, and the controller so the controller actually does raise the volume up and down if you're if for some reason the volume on your car is too low you can raise the volume up with this it, it is really loud um, and it's Bluetooth compatible so let me just show you how easy it is to install so all you have to do is plug it in I chose this one because uh, because of the flap. It doesn't, um, for the other ones, it, it does give problems to, to open this up. So I chose this one. And next thing you wanna do is turn the car on, it loads. And because it's Bluetooth compatible, you go onto your, uh, settings I'll unpair it so for here it's set at 87.7 so I presetted my channel to 87.7 that way I just when I just selected it from the I selected it from here and um, press the number six the number six anyone you want to have it to so I know what channel it's on for so all you have to do is scan it's already scanned and you want to connect your so when it when it's hooked up it does have a pretty annoying thing saying oh well you know it's been successfully um uh it's been su successfully connected so all you want to do is um so i'm gonna look for some royalty free music so I'll choose this song because it does have a nice bass to it. And it's that simple. Yes. So you raise the volume up on the phone. From the controller it does actually raise the volume up so it's pretty pretty cool it does have a little um, static in the background if you could get over that I mean it's it's all good but other than that it seems pretty clear to me and it does you can actually pause the video like the controllers is very handy like you could start as you could tell can't start it does control the actual phone device I it's pretty cool um, so it's set to 87.7 and you could have the phone on the side mounted wherever you want it to go your volume from the car 
it does have a bit of a you know but i can live with that so, oh and one thing i got i forgot to mention when the car is off um, and you try starting the car again to pair it up it does have an annoying chinese lady in the background you know you'll get over it um Connected us successfully. Yeah, that annoying Chinese ladies in the background. I wish they, they, they never put that in, but again, it was made in China. So, as long as your volume is low down, you won't hear it. But if your volume is up, it's connected us successfully. Yes, it is connected us successfully. So, it is a little bit uh, annoying, but whatever, you can live with it. Oh. Yeah. Hope this video was useful to you guys um sorry about the lighting i just finished working it was it was dark and um yeah if you find this video was useful i mean smash that like button comment subscribe and turn on your notification because as i said as i learn shit i'm gonna put it on youtube you know if you're following you may have a similar car and you want to get um you know some advice or help or whatever the case might be so with that being said your boy J Max signing out. See y'all in the next video. Peace.